Today is kind of a lazy, sunny Sunday. It feels like a retro game. Let's review an Atari 2600 game. This is Survival Run for the Atari 2600 from the early 80s. This is a pretty fun, kind of semi-3D maze shooting game. You're apparently a ship just flying through a maze and you're supposed to shoot down these yellow things that are coming at you. You can't even tell what they are. I mean, they look just like blobs of yellow nothingness from far away. But even as they get closer to you, if you do let them get closer, don't shoot them down, you still don't know uh, what they really are. I just assume they're enemy spaceships. I assume the aliens that I'm fighting have a really eclectic, strange, postmodern style in terms of the kind of spaceships they create. These are alien hipsters that we're fighting. You also have to keep in mind that you have to make some turns in this game. This is a maze game. The map is on the top, and you have to go either left or right once in a while. If you don't do that, you're just gonna hit a wall. And that choice actually does matter, because there are dead ends in this game, as you clearly see from the map. This is a good game because it controls good, better than you'd expect from a 3D Atari game. Like, your little gun side controls very well, there's no lag or hiccups, it's very smooth, and, you know, that is impressive for a 3D game on the Atari 2600. You could use your regular joystick to play this game, but it also came with its own special controller, which apparently looked like the HUD of, like, an actual spaceship. So, this must have been really exciting for kids in the early 80s, where they could actually play a game that's basically 3D, and they played it and controlled it like you would a regular spaceship because the HUD was that of a spaceship. I mean, you turn the lights off in your room and just play the game, just looking at nothing but your TV and the controller you had, you probably felt like you're flying in a real spaceship. Although, through a maze, I've never heard of a lot of spaceships flying through mazes. It's like some aliens got lost in some kind of telemarketing office. You don't really control yourself as you fly, you're basically flying forward. The only time you actually get to move left or right is when you get to like a corner. Other than that, the only thing you really control is your crosshair. On top of the hipster aliens you have to shoot down and the office cubicles you have to avoid, yeah, Captain Kirk, I'm gonna need those TPS reports by Sunday, okay? Uh, on top of those two, you also have uh, these force fields in your way, and if you fly through them, they actually hurt you. What you're supposed to do is shoot this little thing that controls the force field, once again, yellow, and that actually makes the force field disappear. It's like a tiny little dot to the left or the right of the force field. This game really hates the color yellow. Everything that is evil and wrong with this universe is yellow. I will not stand for your anti-twinkie propaganda survival run. We will rise up. I mean, by today's standards, this game is obviously nothing, but by Atari standards, this is a pretty fun game. It's simple, it controls great, and it's not hectic. You can just pick it up and play it. There's really not a lot of thinking involved. It's one of those games you can just play while you're listening to music and relaxing or something to that effect. Also, the game cover is absolutely fantastic. That's one of the great things about Atari. Atari has some awesome, awesome game covers. I mean, a lot of the times the covers are actually cooler than the actual game. Nintendo had some great covers too, but I think Atari takes the cake for really cinematic, awesome game covers. Survival Run gets a fun, simple, and retro Stan Birdman rating of a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.